Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name's George, and today I want to show you a really professional way to create your knowledge base. These guys are really professional, and when you grab one of their plans, they even assign you an agent to help you with any doubts that you have. Now, go ahead. You can jump into grab a free trial in the link that will be in the description. Now, let's go check out Document 360 right now. All right, this is the Document 360 site, and you can go ahead and jump into the link in the description to take you to sign up for a free demo. Now you will see for yourself how powerful this actually is. So let's go jump over to my knowledge base right here that I've created. And basically, you get a full on editor to edit how your knowledge base is going to look inside of Document 360. So this is the one that's built right here. We have our categories right here, and we can see the articles right here or subcategories if we like to view them. We can go more complex. So basically it looks like a full on website right here and you can edit all of this and you can make it as simple or as complex as you like. You get all the features right here with the footer, with links, professional um, links right here that looks connected with social media accounts. You have your widget if you want to make it like searchable through the widget really quickly and really fast. So like I said, make it easy as you want or make it as complex as you like. Now, this is the dashboard for Document 360. And the first thing that I want to show you are some of the important settings that you can view right here. So let's go jump over to the gear. The reason I want to show you this is because you're going to actually view how powerful this is with all the settings that you have. All right. So basically general information, the type of editor that you want to use for the articles. For example, I have it as Markdown, so ideal for text based documents. So basic type of documents, if you want to go more complex and if you have HTML files, then I suggest you select this one. Now, don't worry about this. You can select this as a default, but later on, once you write every single article, you can edit that one if you basically need HTML for some type of articles or the markdown for other type of articles, all right? You got teams available, so you can add your team members, set the roles for them, set what type of roles, the type of role that that one will have. So for example, it could be a role for basic editor that would have limited editation limits right there. Um, team auditing, which is really important right here. This is one of the most important features when you have team members because you can actually view what they've been doing with um, Document 360. So if they added an article, if they deleted, if they updated, if they did something in the settings, you would view them right here through the team auditing. You can audit that configuration right here if you don't want to view certain things. For example, if the article slug was updated, well, you don't want to see that there. But maybe you do want to see if someone deletes it and type of other things that you might want to audit. Other things that I found in, um, interesting, for example, is the design. This one is the basic design settings, but like I said, you have the full on builder that we will see in a bit. So you got center layout, fluid layout. You have your logo available, the logo URLs, for example, if they click on that URL, maybe you want to take them to another site, to your main site and not the knowledge base. That's available right there. Primary colors. In this case, um, my logos are green. That's why it's green, but obviously you would select the colors for your branding, okay? You got your navigation settings right here. So for example, for languages, you got your custom URLs right here. So remember on my page, we got features, pricing, book a demo, sign up and all that. Well, you can set those right there. So it's really powerful. Trust me, access and security system. So if you want to have this public or do you want to keep it private? In this case, it's public. You can add your own custom domain. So if you don't want your domain to say document 360 to view it. So for example, mine is, um, subdomain dot document 360 well you can add your own custom domain by pointing it through dns that's available right here articles and settings for seo so you can set the settings right here that you want to set um if, <clears throat> maybe you want to remove some if you like maybe you don't want to show the share buttons or certain things you can edit all of that custom css if you want to go really in depth and make it really personalized well they let you do that integrations available let me show you the ones that are available right now so you got the these ones are the featured ones obviously intercom google analytics google tag segment hot jar custom html and all of these all right let's get rid of that your cookie consent settings so maybe you want to personalize what this says for the type of languages if you want to add more the smart bars that's available knowledge base assistant and you got a lot a lot of settings all right those are the ones, the important ones that I wanted to show you. Now let's go jump over to documentation. Now, is it easy or is it hard to actually create a document? Well, it's actually super easy to create an article actually, right? So you can create up to seven layers of categories right here. So if I needed another category, I can add it through here. So for example, in this case, we'll add it, we'll go into this, right? Oh, drive. And in drive, 
we are going to add a new article. All right, and then this article, we're gonna call it test for video. All right, let's create that one. And this is the editor to actually create the article. Now, remember I told you we have the normal type of editor or the HTML editor. We can add, edit those right here, okay? In case you wanna switch. In this case, it's, it's, it's shown as markdown. So let's just say, for example, is how do you take the screenshot, all right? So just hit on your keyboard, command, shift, um, three, all right? For example, and let's do one right now. Oops, that's the whole thing. All right, so I just took a screenshot and we're actually gonna add that screenshot right here. So let's click on insert an image, file upload. You can also do it by, by link. Let's choose the file. Let's select the screenshot that we just took, took. Put okay. All right, there's our image and it's loaded to the preview on the right. And we can keep on writing um, or articles go to home, all right. Just, this is random information, right? We have also available if we wanna make it H2, H3, H4, bold, italic, strike, um, bullet points, numbers, the image, we saw that, insert a file, insert a link. We can mark it as info, warning, or error if we need to add that. Insert notes, find and replace, content reuse, and more. So we have all that available, even block quotes, lines, insert a table, insert code block, or insert a video. Now a video would be through a link, all right? and that's the editor, it's really easy. You can publish that if you like, but before you publish, there's a lot of settings that you have to set for the article. Now this is important because you actually want to make your knowledge base work and function as it should. So basically, SEO settings. These are SEO settings. If you want this to be searchable on search engines, you can exclude it if you like, but you would add title, the slug. The slug would be, for example, it's your link or the document link slash and you can set this, it'll say test dash for video dash, all right? So you can change this if you like, set the description for SEO purposes. Tags, tags are super and extremely important. Tags are meant for people to search your articles when they're on, for example, on the homepage of your knowledge base. So for example, if this is about screenshot, I would add screenshot, um, how to take image, image, or things that have to do with that article, add them right there because later people will search and they will appear with those articles. Related articles, if you want to add related articles that have to do with this one. Attachments for this article, public status, so if it's gonna be none, new, or updated. Review reminder, this one's a really cool feature because it's gonna remind you to update it. Let's just say um, in two months, you have an update for the platform of your SaaS or your system or whatever you wanna do, well, you can set it to remind you in three days or in three months, like, hey, go back and update those screenshots because the system just completely changed. So that will give you a reminder. You can set a custom date or the information that you like, all right? The editor type, we saw that already. And the featured image, obviously this is good because if you share the link on a social media platform or somewhere else, it's gonna put a default image and this will be the featured image that's going to show. So add that right there. So let's just say that you like what you're viewing right now and you're ready to go. You can just publish it. Yes. And that will be added to your knowledge base. It's as simple as that. I mean, just go ahead, jump in and start creating all the articles that you need, categories and articles to make it easy for your users. And don't forget about tags. Next thing we have is the drive. You can add your system right here. So your drive, recent, started, recycle bin, images, PDFs, presentations, and all that, if you want to have them right here in a neat and form manner. Um, the builder, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I haven't seen other uh, knowledge base systems that have a builder like this to actually make it more to your liking. So for example, we have the recent ones that you saw on the live knowledge base right here, so you can see that. Um, we can drag and drop these if we like. So let's just say this one goes over here, so right there. Switch that, options for this, for example, change icon, change the icon color, remove the column. Um, we can switch this down, for example, if we don't want it to have it on top. Um, like I said, you can add your images, change them, switch the image if you like. So for example, those are the screenshots that I took. Those are up uploaded right there. So I'll, ins I'll insert that. Obviously, that's not gonna look good right now, but just to give you an idea that this is really easy to use. 
Plus, you get the HTML view right here to edit more in depth. Also, remember you have the CSS also available. If you'd like to publish this update, we can go ahead and publish it. We can view it. Let's refresh our site. <clears throat> Let's refresh our site. And here we go. Remember we added that image. We switched it to the other one. And that's easy as that, just to edit your builder. And at the end, we have the analytics. If you're truly like into this and you need, you need to check out the analytics, all right? So you can check out the geography, where people are coming from. So in this case, from India and Mexico, because I'm just testing this right now. Um, performance of this on the articles, they can like or dislike the total views, the total leads. Let me show you an article right now. So let's go into the drive one. Um, let's grab this. Okay, that's a good one. So this is an article right here. It was updated on such date, minute, you can print, share, dark, and you can, was this article helpful? So you say yes, for example, um, people can actually give out feedback, which is important. If they didn't like it, also give out feedback. And we can see that with the all that information, which, which is really important because maybe they can give you a feedback like, hey, you know what, I follow the steps and they didn't work, all right? The search information, total searches, the users, no results. What did they search for? This is important because it's gonna help you find out what people are actually interested in. So for example, let's just say you had 200 views of how do I add a video and you don't have an article about that. Well, that's just telling you that you have to add it, right? Because that's something that it's telling you right there with the analytics. The team accounts information, total authors, readers, articles, information there. The feedback, like I said, if you have the feedback that people are giving, you can view them there and the link status available also. All right, so you have all the information. Is it working? Is it down? You can view it right there. Was it broken because you removed it, you edited or something like that? You view all that right there. So basically, that is Document 360. It's fairly and I think super easy to use. Once you get set up, it's just start adding articles. And like I said, the cool part about it is that when you are on a plan with them, they provide you an agent that's going to help you out to get started and with any doubts that you might have. Well, guys, that is Document 360. My name's George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.